just feel like everything's going wrong. My scallops took so long. I'm trying to act calm, but I'm not. And it's not good. I, I could be going home. Your final and toughest elimination challenge is a shell game. Under each of these cloches is an incredible ingredient that will be the cornerstone of the dishes that you'll make in this challenge. Are you ready to see what's underneath these? Yes, chef. Razor clams. These fresh clams have a unique shape and are found on Canada's east and west coast. It's easy to overwhelm the delicate flavor. Dungeness crab. There's nothing quite like the sweet meat that comes from a West Coast crustacean. Only about one quarter of the crab is meat, so every piece is precious. And be careful. Cook them too long, and they will become rubbery and inedible. And last but not least, scallops. These beautiful, brightly colored, fan-shaped shells house the sweet, tender scallop and its roe. They require very little seasoning, but if you overcook them, they will turn tough and chewy. All right, Kayla, time for you to make your choice. If I make the wrong decision, I could be going home. I'm going to choose this ingredient because it is my absolute favorite thing to order on a menu, and I know I can make the flavors fantastic with it. So I'm gonna choose the scallop. Marita, you had the second best dish in the mystery box challenge. That means you get the next pick. The razor clams or the Dungeness crab? I'm thinking about something that's gonna be difficult for Eric. I've never cooked with razor clams before. I have no clue what I'd do with razor clams. If she's smart, she would choose the crab. Because Eric wants the crab so badly. I know he does, I can see it in his eyes. As chef, I've never cooked with razor clams before. I have cooked crab many times. My strategy is one that's simple. Eric is a great cook. Take the freaking crab. Do not let Eric have it. That crab is so tricky. Chef, I pick the razor clam. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I may have just given Eric $100,000. Well, there it is. How do you feel? Oh, God. I have a perfect dish for it. Perfect dish. I am regretting my decision. I feel like I should have taken the crab. Not good. Bad. Stupid on both our parts. Your 60 minutes starts now. Definitely a little pissed off now. Rita says that I still need to grow as a home cook. Definitely got to prove her wrong today. Cucumber, cucumber. I'm not seeing this damn cucumber. Oh, there it goes. Oh, baby. I absolutely love scallops. It's my favorite ingredient of all time. The key today is keeping the flavors very clean and delicate and letting this beautiful scallop shine. I chose razor clams because it's something I've never worked with before. If I'm gonna move on to the finale, I need to do it big. It's gonna be tomato-based sauce, fresh herbs, garlic, scotch bonnet, lime juice, some nice mango in there for sweetness. This dish is gonna take the judges to the beach of Trinidad. The razor clam is one of my favorite, steamed with garlic, a little bit of oil. That, to me, is simple, delicious. The real pitfall for her would be to overcook. I've never cooked with live scallops before or broken them down, so this is a big risk, again. Just gotta get my scallop open. For a home cook who's never opened up a sea scallop before, it could be a delicate and time-consuming process, as we can see. These scallops are taking forever. I need to hustle. Today, I need to really stay focused and manage my time. I'm gonna make a green Thai curry crab with a coconut rice. Pitfalls with the crabs, overcooking it for sure, and using a sauce that really overpowers that sweet crab meat flavor. So it is a fine balance. Kayla, what are you making? I'm making a seared scallop, crispy parsnip chips, duck confit potatoes, a sweet pea puree, and some pickled uh, cucumber. Sounds ambitious. I've got to be honest, I'm a little concerned about the fact that it's taken you 20 minutes to open those scallops. Do yes. you think that you should have made a different choice? No, Chef. I'm confident with my dish. Kayla has nine lives in this competition. That girl is like a cat. 
But Eric's looking really good today. Dungeness crab is a difficult shellfish. Hi, Marita. Hi, Chef. You have never cooked razor clams before. Wise choice? I grew up on an island where a shellfish was readily available, came fresh to my door. I mean, honestly, you know, Eric was over the moon. Crab is a very tricky thing to cook. Who do you think is going home? I would say Eric. This is my moment. I like your confidence. Thank you, Chef. Eric. Hello, Chef. Tell me about your dish, what you're making. We're going to do a uh, green Thai curry. With a, a green Thai rice. curry? Do you think a curry might overpower the flavor of the crab? I think curry and crab go well together. It's not going to be super spicy curry. It's going to be sweeter and like herbaceous with the lemongrass, kefir lime leaves. I like citrus notes with uh, crab. Who do you think uh, might be going home today? I think Rita's a stronger cook, so I'd like her to go home. Good luck. Keep an eye on the clock. 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes remaining. Those are ready. Those are pickling. So Eric is super confident with what he's cooking. He says he'll be able to get the balance between curry and the sweetness of the crabs. It sounds great. I think Kayla right now is playing catch up. Her dish is incredibly ambitious. I mean, there's a ton of stuff going on. It sounds like too many elements in one plate, chewing up a ton of time. It could be the downfall. Oh. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, I just feel like everything's going wrong. My scallops took so long. I'm trying to act calm, but I'm not. And it's not good. Fire. I could be going home. Yeah, it's good enough. Marita's plating. Kayla, I can't see any components of her dish. She's gonna run out of time. Just gotta get this pee period perfect. I'm cooking for my life. My hands are just shaky. 30 seconds! Put those garnishes on, come on! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop! Cook for my heart today. That's gonna get me to the finale, for sure. This is the biggest moment of my life, and this dish is the biggest dish of my life. I just hope it's enough. Right now, I'm very nervous. I'm hoping and praying I make it to the finale. Eric, please bring your dish up. Tell me what flavors went into the sauce and the crab. Fresh cilantro, lemongrass, garlic, onion, jasmine rice cooked in coconut milk, and then a crab broth that I made. Nice little presentation, quite innovative. The only concern I have is the large lime wedges. They're large? I just think if you take a mouthful of sweet, delicate crab, you have this huge hit of sour lime. Not something I would have done. flavors of that sauce are very good. There is a subtle heat, the richness of the coconut milk. It's all there. It's nicely balanced. However, that lime troubles me. Top three. It's an incredible achievement for everyone here. And you are only, what, 21 years old? Yes, Chef. It's incredible. Is this dish going to be incredible, though? I personally think it's the best dish I've put up so far. So it's a Thai dish. Is it authentic Thai, or is it Eric Thai? Eric Thai. Tell me about the rice. Uh, it's just jasmine rice cooked in coconut milk. It's delicious. Thank you, Chef. I don't think I've met a 21-year-old that cooks this way. Thank you, that means a lot. It's incredible. Marita, please come up. I sauteed a little bit of garlic and some olive oil. I've got sweet mango, crunchy peppers and cucumbers, a sweet tomato, and a little bit of the razor clam juice to toss it all in. I like the fact that you've used the shell. Great way to present, and it gives people an idea of what a razor clam looks like. Yes, chef. Those flavors are wonderful. They work together well. 
They have good lengths to them, clean, crisp. I do wish there was a little more clam in it because there's a lot of garnish. The clam, spot on. I can still taste the sweetness. I'm really happy you didn't put too much heat in because razor clam is very delicate and you respected that. I like that. I like that very much. Thank you, chef. Kayla, please bring up your dish. Tell me about the dish. I did a seared sea scallop on a sweet pea puree with a confit potato and a pickled cucumber. Bit of microgreens on top, and then uh, for some crunch, I did the parsnip chips. Before I try your dish, I just want to let you know that I think it's incredible what you've achieved here. Because you've been in so many pressure tests, and you continue to dig deep, find a way to get through. You're a fighter. Thank you, Chef. I hope your dish represents that. Me too. Try that. You think that's cooked on the inside properly? I think it's a little over, actually. A tad bit over. Yeah. Overall, though, I think the dish has balance. I like the acidity in it. I wish the scallops had maybe 10, 15 seconds less in the pan. It's a very admirable dish. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. And this here is the confit potato. Yes, Chef. Can you confit that in? Duck fat. Have you done that before? Once, Chef. They're cooked. I was concerned that they wouldn't be cooked in the one-hour time. And this is the pea puree, you say? Yes, Chef. You can tell the mint. It's the last flavor that I get in my palate. Lots of elements on that dish. Adventurous. Thank you. My scallops were in the pan for literally 15 seconds too long. And this could send me home. <laughs>